Well, greetings everyone, and welcome to episode 2 of our Foundation Fluvial playthrough in our still yet unnamed village. I'm going to leave it unnamed for just this episode. The next episode, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to name this village. So, one last chance to drop your comments below if you think you got a good name for the said village. Right, today uh, we are starting in the center of what is a very small settlement. I think we're just sort of 20, 20 odd people. And we've got our tax office that is going up in the background as well as our treasury. And um, there's going to be a bailiff's office as well. We're going to employ a tax officer and a bailiff will start taxing people and get going uh, properly. Now, uh, some of you might have noticed there's no UI. I'd forgotten about this, but control U removes the UI. Yeah, so... Very pretty little scenes there if you want to. Right, so I'm going to say goodbye so you can see sort of everything here. So, right at the moment, we've got the uh, tax office up here, uh, which means we can actually employ a tax collector. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, who who are we going to do here? Um, I think... Uh, <laughs> Alidag. You're the tax officer, right? There you go. Right, absolutely. Um, and you, Gillian, are probably going to become our bailiff. Probably. Right. Okay, so, let's see. Tax officer here. We've got uh, the builders assigned here, so we get a tax officer here. Uh, right, that's great. Uh, we need to uh, in increase our treasury here, but that, that'll happen when it comes out the back. But we've got the bailiff's office coming. Fantastic, got something, something slamming along their way there on the bailiff's office. Trying to increase our, uh, trying to increase our uh, uh, sort of prosperity here. Uh, so maybe some beautification we'll do just now. Um, in order to help with that as well. Uh, if we do, if we go to over here, uh, I don't think we actually have any beautification items uh, open at Borutus. No, we don't. We don't. We don't at all. Let's go and have a look here. Uh, common path. Uh, no, uh, that's not how we get the beautification. Not through the edicts either. Labor. Oh, we could do the Manor House Splendor package. Um, and the market splendor package, uh, and a hedge, a hedge, we get a hedge, this is the labor estate, um, this will give us a rustic tower, a weather vane, roof chimneys, pruned hedges, square pruned hedges, and this is going to give us a market tent and that kind of stuff, um, this will give us a hedge, uh, kingdom, this will give us a military fort and a, and a stake wall, uh, this will give us a wooden bridge. Maybe we should do this wooden bridge thing. Let's just unlock that now, just so we can kind of get that cooking. Uh, clergy, I don't want to spend too much money until we're, we're sort of making a little bit more, if that makes sense. Um, so let's get this tax office in. Uh, let's go over here to our economy here. Uh, it's good at taxes. So I think this is how much we tax them. Um, so we attack them at 5%, right? So we're going to make 46 uh, a month. Right, that's gonna impact our happiness by five five percent minus five percent but it's uh gonna earn us a little bit um and we're gonna store some and multiple taxes impact on air oh, okay so we've got 23 serfs five at that percent. So we can really really gun for them hard if we want to right lord beer can gun for them hard but at the moment we will we'll, we'll, we'll get some money in hopefully um and uh yeah get that cooking uh, we're gonna need that one, right? What are we What are we missing here? We got the We got the bridge, right? So we can do a bridge to cross gaps. Don't think we quite need that yet, actually. We shouldn't have spent that money on that just yet, uh, but we did. We did. Okay, let's speed this up slightly, um, because what we're actually aiming for here is uh, to improve this. So we got a, a high, we got real high, um, high immigration here, don't we? Comforts. Um, maybe what we should do is in order to sort of up, up our prosperity here, um, is actually get, um, some stuff over here, right? Uh, missing raw materials. Oh, is this, are you, are you missing again? Um, extraction. No, but how? There's definitely raw materials over here for you to extract. Oh, you know what we should do? Um, we're going to have to get up. I know what we should get up. Uh, we should get up a forester and thinking about where we sort of reforest some of these lands. So, um, there's the, the forestry camp. I'm thinking if we do it over here, we can actually just forest around this area here. Um, let's do this guy. 
like this. Is that enough of a gap for them to get through there? Let's see. Maybe we just do them over on this side. Yeah. Maybe we do them over here. We just fill them in like this. Yeah, into the I like that better. That's good. Let's build that. Um, and then we'll get some foresters into 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 the into the mix here. Um got some tools, which is good. Um is this bailiff's office red yet? Uh click to assign a bailiff. Okay, are we gonna He's not working anyone. Job increase speed. Happiness is less impacted. Weekly salary five. Nominate. Gillian, you're nominated as the bailiff. Fantastic. I think we've got the bailiff's office built. We've got a bailiff now. That's good. We're increasing our um We're increasing this big time here. Yeah? So clergy, we need 30 to get to there. Common path, what do we need? 20 to unlock farming and fishing, clothing. Stone masonry, uh, goods markets, and decorative. So there's the bushes and fences and trees and stuff. That's kind of what I want. Um, so we need 20 of that. Um, and we're going to do that by population and commerce and splendor. Um, so maybe we should unlock that splendor and just get that that, that up there. But maybe not. Uh, maybe we, we, maybe we'll be good if we can just get some... Some trees and other things in and our, our 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 population. I mean, our population isn't doing too badly. Uh, comforts taxes are at minus five percent. So our treasury is now built. There you go. We got a treasury here at the back. So the um, the manor lord's house here is, is is it's grown quite significantly, to be honest. Um, but it looks good there, and it is providing. The village is nice, isn't it? It does provide, um, I think it does provide quite a bit of uh, desirability in this area. Um, so, you know, if we wanted to build more houses around here, it's really good. Really good. Overlays tooltip. Is this just a display tool to text you to uh, Okay, I didn't know that there's that. Okay, that's actually very interesting. I really do, I'm finding a bunch of new things as we play through this. Now, what are we missing? We're missing logs. Okay, that seems to be the problem. Uh, wait, let's just do this quickly. We can also do some extraction here, guys. Uh, we can actually continue to extract here. Particularly here. Around the houses, I think. The church. Yes, there you go. Um, there's wood for you, if you would like. Um, alright, we've got this guy coming through here. So once this is built here, what we'll do is we'll reforest, right? Um, so, uh, we could also use this forbidden lands tool as well. Um, that could be a really interesting way to, um, to mark, to, 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 to sort of mark areas, etc. And I think if you go control, you can actually make this really small. Um, which will allow you to do super fine, um sort of, um, or, or fine-ish, uh, kind of areas like this, so we can loop this around here, this is definitely going to be reforested here, we'll start by making this a reforestation area, let's draw a loop around, around these, like that, all this in here, and now we make this a little bit bigger, and just, uh, Pull this in here. So as soon as that forester's hut is up, um, they can just start planting some trees along here, um, and then our, our 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 foresters can come back in and cut them down uh, when they need them. Uh, like, it's not a very big area. We're gonna have to expand this. Definitely gonna have to expand this. Um, let's try and get it all the way down here. We've got a nice nice line all the way down to the coast. Yeah, like that. Like that. Good. Um, is this finished yet? Oh, it is. Okay, so let's choose what we want in here. Um, I don't want oaks. Um, no oaks. We'll do poplars, pines, and let's do poplars and pines in here. Let's get a, a forester working in here. So this forester will come and start planting trees. Um, we can get more more workers in. Sure. Sure, absolutely. Why not? Why not? Um, did we... We actually had a free territory, didn't we? Um, 
So now the question is, is do we go for this territory here, which doesn't have that in it? Or do we go literally for the territory that this has in it? Should we, f should we figure out what, um, let's go to the bailiff, right? Uh, mandate, um, mineral deposit. Which mineral deposit is that one? I want this one over here. Let's see, oh, do we have the money? Do we spend the money? Do we spend a hundred coins? On, um, on prospecting this. Um, I don't know. I don't know if we do this. It could be, it could be risky. Um, but it could also be hella profitable. Um, I think, actually, knowing that this is a free territory, I think that we should go for this one over here. Yes. Yeah, let's expand this. If this is a uh, upkeep five, yeah, we're gonna do it. We bought that territory there. We can always buy that territory later. Um, we 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 do, however, need this prosperity to go up so that we can start unlocking this, right? So that that is purely influenced now by I think our territory. That's given us two populations, given us five. Commerce has given us that. Um, our money is still giving me money worries, though. Um, but our forester is planting trees, which is not a bad thing. Um, yes, okay. Yes, did again. Your advice can be heard. Right, okay, wait, let's have a look at it. Your villagers caught the attention of three estates. They expect you to build monuments to their splendor. Such constructions will undoubtedly define the future of your people, and they will wonder which of the kingdom close your leverage or oblige. We have already said we are going to go, our churches will be for the pride of the clergy. Um, build a rustic church that has a stone bell tower. There you go. Okay, mandates available. Yes, we know we've got mandates available. A newcomer requests an audience. Oh, hello. New advice can be heard. Right, so villagers consider we are prosperous enough to be assisted by a bailiff. They nominate personal hand or critical tasks such as prospecting nearby deposits and petitioning the estates on your behalf. The bailiff. You've built that bailiff. You've built the bailiff. By signing the bailiff, start a mandate. You know what? Let's actually do the mandates. Mandates available. I want to go clergy. Let's spend. Let's send the 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 mandate there to go and that 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 bailiff's now going to go and try and curry favor with the clergy, um, which will give us influence. I think. Um, which is good, because we need five influence there, or oh, clergy rating. Uh, does it give us influence? I think it gives us influence. Um, and then we can kind of go, influence over the clergy is good, since that's what we want to do. Uh, so, great hall mandates, dismiss, we know what's going on there. We, at least we think. Um, so we should build a rustic church, uh, that has a stone bell tower. Uh, should we put a stone bell tower on this one? Um, bell tower. How do we build the stone bell tower? Do we have to go into this? Yeah, clergy. Uh, oh, here you go. Yeah, so we have to pay to unlock this. Uh, yeah, we're gonna unlock this. And you know what? I'm gonna spend the 25 on that one as well. Um, we, we really need to go after the church here. So we've got administration, we've got a monastery. We can finally build, start building a monastery. Um, but what we're gonna do here now is we're actually gonna build the stone bell tower. Oh, where are we going to build the stone bell tower, though? Do we build it out here? Take it back. A small one like that? I think that's what we're going to do. We're just going to build that. Just so we can get it in with. In with and done. Well, not in with and done, but you know what you know what I'm talking about. Um, okay, we've got trees coming in here. Fantastic. So, slowly slowly planting, slowly managing our... our actually, you know what? We're gonna need a lot more reforestation going on here, so let's uh let's uh let's think about really how this is gonna work. Um, and this is this, this to be honest, it's gonna have to be a very big, quite a big forest, yeah. Um, I do want uh, uh I do want uh, a little break in there so that they can come in there and go to their go to their berry berry gathering and picking. Um, but there's going to be trees surrounding the berries. That feels like a good thing, doesn't it? It feels like it feels like berries should have trees surrounding them. Surely that seems like a good idea. Um, right, so, so there you go. Forest in and around. Little path there. 
let's uh, take the extraction off here for the time being, shall we? Just so this, this forest here can grow. There's more than enough still for them to be chopping. Um, down that, 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 with that away. I mean, we do own all that land. So, no. It is ours to chop. Um, right. Uh, we're building that, we're building that there, right? And your advice can be heard, right? Um, apparently, upon hearing your interests of building a monastery, some of the more faithful in your villages would like to guide you on some of the steps of construction. Will the monastery be accepting? Both monks and nuns. I think it's gonna, this is gonna, uh, yes, both monks and nuns. Yes. We're, we're fully dedicated to the faith here. We're gonna do both. We're gonna do monks and nuns, for sure. So I think this means we're gonna have to start a small monastery, aren't we? Uh, taxes one, trade minus three. Okay, we, uh, the tools that we're, we're succumbing to tools, right? Uh, right, oh yes, we've earned a spender with an estate. Uh, let's have a look here, Purgy. Right, we're earning splendor, one splendor. Right, okay, cool. We need, how much do we need here? Purgy rating, oh, okay, so that just gives us rating. Okay, right, okay. Uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, you're welcome to our village. Uh, you are truly welcome. Um, maybe we should be building, um, oof, this is, this is getting interesting now. Okay. So let's build, let's get a monastery up, right? So if this is, this is our land over here, uh, territory, right? Uh, no, no, we just, just do this here. These are our land here. So this is going to be a big monastery up here. So maybe what we do is we put like a really small one, a small monastery down here somewhere. Um, to start. Um, like. Yes, we put the small, the first small monastery over here, I think. And we'll start another little village here. Uh, there'll be another, I think another village here of berries and I don't know about that stone there. We might, we might extract that another way. Um, but, uh, let's do, let's do, I do like the idea of there being a monastery here. So, the function is gonna be, um, we've gotta build a monastery that has nun dorms and monk dorms, uh, a monastery scriptorium, and a population of four nuns. So, it produces manuscripts, a chapel, provides faith. Um, monastery garden. So we got to start with the chapel, right? We've got to start with the chapel because otherwise it doesn't really work. Um, we've got to do a start with a rustic hall, right? Uh, so the chapel has to be here. Um, and I do want the chapel to face out towards the water, towards the sea. Um, let's do the chapel. This is going to be the first sort of little bit of a monastery here. This is going to cost us a lot of stone. We got some stone. Um, rustic gate elevated. I really like that for the chapel. Right. Um, it's got to have a doom and it's got to have a bell tower as well. Um, okay, so it's got to have a bell tower. Um, do we do the rustic bell tower enclosed belfry, open belfry? I like the idea of the enclosed one. That looks cool. Um, right, um, do we, can we, can we put it over, is that, does that, uh, oh, it does count, um, okay, uh, let's do that then, right, just over there, like that, right, yes, little monastery, little monastery, maybe a little bit higher, a little bit higher. That's kind of cool. Um, maybe we merge it a little bit more in. Like that. Yes. Yes, so it becomes a part of it, right? So that's that, okay? That's the chapel. Okay, good. Okay, build. Uh, right, that's a chapel. Chapel. View parent monastery. Right, okay. So that's that there. Okay. Um, now let's, uh, we gotta build, what else we gotta do? We gotta build a, a scriptorium, right? A scriptorium. Um, 
but we don't reach there yet. So let's do monk dorms. Monk dorms. Rustic passageway. Uh, do we now want to put the... So this is the chapel. What we could do is we could build that there, right? This is the idea there. And then what we could do is we could go rustic wooden huts, rustic stone huts, rustic quarters, uh, rustic quarters, minor, major. Could do this, right? That becomes monk dorms. Right, wait, wait, what is this? Monk sign. Okay, houses up to eight. Okay, wait. Uh, no, no, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go parents and we're gonna go the scriptorium is gonna be the rustic passageway. Like that. I think. Yes, like that, right? Uh, parent monastery, uh, monk dorms, uh, major. Monk dorms there. Parent monastery, uh, nun dorms, uh, major. Boom. Boom. Like that. Right. Then, um, maybe what we do is go to the parts list. We go to the chapel. Uh, we take this and we move this to the back. Like that. Aha! There you go. And we make that high. Well, not so high. Like, to there. Like, ooh, that looks good. That's like a, such a good, like, little sort of first monastery, right? Out there, like that. Oh, I love it. Love it. Okay. Uh, view parent monastery. What are we, uh, what are we doing? Partsless. Uh, you good. You need a room. Scriptorium. Um, and you are good. You just need a room. And, uh, you are also good. So this will give us lots of splendor, clergy splendor, etc. Uh, ready to build. Uh, ready to build. Right, let's go build. build. Oh wait, interactive locations. Oh, the visitors are going to come over here. Sure, there you go. Uh, build. Okay. So uh, that's uh, that's really given us something very big to build there. Uh, we've now put in motion put in motion the idea of a whole monastery and that's actually really far away up there um so even i'm even thinking that what we do is that um we start uh what we could do is we could go to this whole thing here um and we could pause the whole thing i mean that's a lot of resources uh 22 we need polished stone for it as well um, so, we're going to need to pause that, um, and I think what we're going to do instead, right now, after we've planned all of that, after we've planned all of that, is that we're going to get in something over here to start a new village next to this monastery here, um, and I think that one is going to go in over, maybe like right over here, uh, like that, build, and let's put that one on a high priority. Um, I'm even thinking of putting a um, another builder's workshop in here too. Um, that could be kind of cool. Maybe we should put a builder's workshop up here by the stone. Um, we can, we can. We need the five five wood for that. We can't build it. We don't have the five wood for that one yet. Okay, let's go fast. Ooh, they've already started building some, bringing some stuff over here. Oh, they're cutting down the trees. That's fine. That's fine. That's good. They can do that. So, um, I think this wood here is the thing that's giving us the problem. Um, have we extractions? Are they still coming to chop that wood there? Okay, so they're still doing that wood there. Um, we could, we could start our extraction here. I suppose. Um, I think this is slowing us down. Uh, we do have 10 cloth. That's interesting. That's cool. Um, okay. So we're building our monastery. That's good. We've dedicated ourselves to the clergy, which is why we're doing that. Um, we are actually now making money. Um, plus one on our daily balance. Um, just purely from taxes. Trade is, is still hurting us a little bit. 
Um, but maybe we'll get there. Where do we get polished? We get polished stone from here. The 20 on the on the influence, right? So really, that's about population splendor. So yeah, let's let's get uh, let's get that population and splendor up, shall we? Um, okay. Uh, we're using this here. Builders assigned. Uh, we need a few more logs. Maybe what we should do is we should also just for the time being here. Uh, just pause production on that. So we can... We're struggling with the logs, everyone. Um, we're struggling with the logs. Um, they're giving us grief. Um, our lumberjacks are having to go quite far to, to chop them down, which is why we need this section of this forest here to go up pretty quickly. And we'll start working in through this one. Maybe we should build a temporary... Um, you know what, actually, I'm going to do that. I'm going to build a temporary lumber camp. Um, like, we're just going to build that temporary lumber camp over there. Um, I know it costs me money. Um, but if we build that temporary lumber camp, um, it costs us tools. So it's going to cost us quite a bit of money. Um, how Are we full here on service? Okay, we're good. 96%, uh, right. So it's just the taxes that are giving us grumpiness, which I'm, I, I'm fine with. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Um, we get that up there. It's the wood that's causing us the problem at the moment. Um, because we can get that up. To, we start a whole new little town over here. Uh, so we've got a food. We do this. Let's do in like that. I want to start like a, a whole new little town here. Um, boom. Do berries as well gonna cost us that to build, 10 to build as well. Um, and then we, we get a lot of people in and maybe we just get the Splendor just basically off, uh, 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 basically off the population. Um, so that means that if you guys are working there, then you should have no problem clearing that. Alright, it's definitely within your working range. Clear those, let's get the logs in. Um, get these up here. Um, and then, um, this one's coming up, and then we're going to need a storage. We're going to need another granary, I think. Um, I'm thinking this granary... Because um, if this over here is the, the circle of where the houses are going to go, maybe what we should do is put the granary. Um, I do want some stuff down here as well, by the by the ocean eventually. So maybe we do is put the granary like this. Granary over here. Yeah, ready to build. Oh, just going to roar through our money here. Uh, that well's on its way up. Uh, that gathering hut's also on its way up. Um, come on, five wood. Um, we get that in. Um, and then we can actually start putting more, more, more villages living around this area as well. Start spreading ourselves out. One village here, one village down there. Um, yeah, I don't know if actually that's too much of a good idea. But it, it's it's an idea, nevertheless. Um, I'm liking the way this is turning out so far, though. This this was a very good start. A very, very good start. Fantastic little start, actually. I'm starting to get a feel for this place as well. It kind of reminds me of uh, small sort of English little towns, if that makes sense. We've got new villages coming. Uh, we do need to watch those berries, the food, as well. So it will start raining at some point. Um, and that's going to be a problem. Um, so our kingdom and our labor influence is minus one at the moment because we're going so hard for the clergy. It's not really a problem though. Um, what do we get? Are these two unemployed villagers? Don't worry. We will give you jobs just now. Um, we will. We really will. Um, you, I think, oh, you're actually all good on the berries, aren't you? You can only do a hundred in each slot. Barely, barely fitting that at the moment. Okay, come on, come on. Um, it's a long way to walk. This is kind of why I want this going up here, so we can store resources on this side as well. Uh, if we store resources on this side, it should be much quicker to, to build this up. Um, much, much, much quicker. Um, are you guys bringing... Uh, can we build this now? Can I start construction? I have not been met. Uh, why? Um, 
upfront cost five. Okay, fine. Build cost upfront five. Okay, let's let's do it. We've got that two two villages. Okay, so they're working. I forgot that that one doesn't build at all. It just sort of plonks down on the ground. That's why. Um, so we've got that up there now. That should bring some builders out this side, um, which means that there's far more going on. With this great grand. Let's speed you all up. Um, right, we've got a newcomers. Uh, welcome, welcome. Um, it's still building the monastery. Is this going up here? Yes, it is. We might actually just get here just on on population alone. Um, Thirty-one villages. Not bad. Not bad at all, chaps. I must say. I am I am fairly impressed uh, with that. Uh, residential. Uh, okay. Uh, we are going to do that now. Uh, residential is going to be right along here, son. This is all going to be residential. Like this. We're going to have to get a we're going to have to get a, a slot in here to sell more berries as well, I think. Um, this is going to be residential. Making residential plots, if you will. Uh, like that. I want to leave a gap here. And I'm going to put a, a, a market stall in there. Like that. Should be enough space for some residences to crop up. See, this is sort of the... the there you go, already. Someone's already decided to start building their house here. Um, so this is going to be kind of where... For all of our nuns and, and, and monks, uh, the little town near the edge, if that makes sense, where where they can sort of uh, stock up for wares. Uh, um, it's going to be a market stall, um, and it's definitely going to be over here. Um, in fact, I kind of want it to be like right out the back of the berries, like from farm to table kind of thing. Uh, yeah, let's build that there. So that'll that'll feed people on this side of the world. Um, well, berries, and then we're gonna need we're gonna need another little church up here as well. Um, because I think that one there only gives church to to nuns and monks, and I don't want them to be walking all the way back there all the time. Um, so maybe uh, service we get like a tiny little rustic church in here, uh, thatched nave. A thatched nave. Um, yeah, actually. Um, we're gonna do this. Uh, it's gonna be a town full of little churches. Um, a thatched nave. Uh, let's get a wooden gate. Uh, or a stone gate. Yeah, this is the... This is up here. That's like that. Um, and then let's, let's get a decoration on the top. Yeah, and a, a wooden bell tower. Um, and the wooden bell tower is gonna go straight out the back. Little one there like that. It's got to be a lot of little churches around here. Uh, all right, build. Fantastic. We'll build that, and that will uh, help with service on this side as well. But essentially, what we're doing is we're creating two little, two little connected towns now, um, which is not ideal. But at the same time, um, it is going to help us considerably. I think. Um, so we've got four unemployed villagers, uh, and these is, aren't up and running yet. Okay, almost done. Okay, uh, let's get one person working on this one, so we can up the, the value of berries here. In fact, actually three. We'll get, uh, you're all going on there, because uh, there's now one unemployed person. That person is going to go on to the uh, granary over here, I think. Um, and more people who are coming into the village. Um, we'll go onto the uh, market stall table here. This is a house. Uh, newcomers are approaching. I think this will be the next thing that we go for here. And um, this will use up some of our stone and planks and tools. Uh, but we seem to be stable on the money now, which is good. Uh, very, very good. Um, what are we doing over here? Are we coming to collect berries? Good, good. We're coming to collect berries. Um, and I wonder if we can, is there a way for us, for, for us to move people, occupants? Can I move you? Um, it would be awesome if I could relocate you. You home, place. follow the mission. It would be awesome if I could relocate you to, um, to another spot, wouldn't it? Um, that would be fantastic, actually. Um, is this going up here? 
We, uh, builder is assigned. Okay, good. So this is gonna, it's actually gonna happen faster than I thought. Uh, we've got newcomers. Great, lots of newcomers. Uh, right, berries, uh, and berries. Uh, and let's get one transporter in there. New audiences. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, yay, look at that. A bailiff is back from mission. We gained 10. Fantastic, look at that. We're gaining all the influence here, which is great. A uh, small market court built, that's great. Here, we're gonna assign a resource berries and we're gonna employ someone there. Great. That means more people will move into this area here, um, which is super brilliant. Um, super, super, super brilliant. Uh, wait, mandates are available. Your advice can be heard. Wait, 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 wait. Villagers believe we have been prosperous enough to enact our first edict. Oh. Uh, there are laws and policies that help you shape the village in new ways. You can also enable privileges, which, uh, which are benefits granted by each of the states. Once enacted, edicts and privileges have to be revised by the bailiff in order to be removed. Let's ratify an edict. Uh, acquire contractual wage edict in the book. I will continue on my own. Why not? Let's ratify an edict, shall we? Uh, okay, so we have to go here to the contract in the book. Right, okay, book. Um, contract. Oh, look at this. Okay, this costs a lot of money. Um, it decreases the cost of every mandate by 50%. Oh, that's so great. Okay. Uh, so we've clocked our clocked our prosperity here now, which means we can start actually fishing as well, um, which I'd actually kind of like to do. Um, should we do fishing first, and then de we can do the decorative and the goods market? Um, sells good stalls. Let's do fishing. Oh, newcomer. Um, and it's clergy. Can we? Can't go any higher yet. Oh, we need thirty. Thirty for that. That's fine. We're on the on the way here, and people have moved in on this side already. Um, which is so good. Um, I really like the fact that people are actually living on this side. Berries are coming in. Hey, okay, wait, we need, we need a lot. Okay, food is now our problem, right? So, we need to do some fishing. Now, uh, I kind of want to get some fishing in over here. This, this was my plan. There's one fishing dock over here. So, we do one over there. And then we get one down in there as well. Yes. We can sell fish on this side too. Oh. All that money and stuff going in. Uh, are we doing on our plank? Should we get some... Uh, let's get some extraction into this area here as well, shall we? Let's make this a bit bigger. Uh, like this. So that these these larger trees... I'll tidy this up just now. Um, I just want our, our loggers to have an easier time... Um, getting hold of stuff here too, if they need to. This is now reforested quite nicely there. Uh, we'll get some we'll get some in here and this one I think we'll do fish in there. Yeah, and let's get some fish. Oh hello, welcome, welcome. Um fish. Uh are we are uh, it's four unemployed people, but that's great because uh we're gonna have many, many, many things for you to work on here just now. Um right, uh let's unpause this now. Um, and start building that. Housing insufficient. One villager lacks adequate space for housing. Um, all right. Um, I suppose we can rectify this. How's that, how about that? Does that, does that help matters? Um, if I do this, will you, will you be happy? Desirability is high here. Um, Lou. Uh, you're building housing over there, uh, so you should be good. How about we build you, give you a little bit of an ability to build back here. Um, like that for now. Uh, okay, you're building in there. Okay, alright, alright, okay, alright. So I can, I can see what's happening. Town is erupting over here. Town is erupting over there. With a nice gap in between. Um... But really and truly, we do need to give you jobs, don't we? Uh, and it's all about that 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 blinking wood. Uh, let's go fishers huts. Go fishers huts. Let's get you on high priority, shall we? Um, I like the fact that the traders are coming through. We're still making. We're, we're doing money on the. We're doing okay on the money, I suppose. We're not rolling in money, but we are sort of building ourselves up. It is the beginning of our town. Um, this is good here, though. Um, the fact that we. 
have service on this side of the world. Um, so anyone who's working over here, um, who I'm hoping will be pretty much everyone who lives and works out this end, not going to have to travel too far for the basics. Um, wow, there's more people coming into coming into town here. Um, should I get more people, fifth minor, onto there? Um, okay, our population is now shot up to 40. Um, but our food issue is crazy. Uh, okay, right, let's have a look. Trade, uh, resources. Where is our trade? Berries, 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 berries. Let's up this to 100, right? Because clearly, 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 we need more of those. Planks. I'm happy with selling planks like that, although we've now got none. Um, so let's, uh, all those, this wood's need, this wood's needed for this. Okay, we need this wood here, because then we need fish. Um, we're going to do fish. Fish, right? Um, right. Because we could, if we wanted, do fish for that as well. All right, let's uh, let's do let's do food. Uh, we need to do logistics. We need the market. We need another market store out here. Wait, this market here. Build. Uh, select a function. Market stores court. Market. All right. Okay. There you go. Um, let's do another one. Do we do it over on this side this time? Hey, like that maybe. Ah, oh, like that. Okay, so that's gonna be fish. Build. Okay. Get fish in there. Right. Fish into that one. Um, uh, right, that would be markets. And uh, this one over here. Waiting for the builder. Come on. Uh, bring them all wooden. Um, right. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, we, we, ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, we might actually have to um, increase our taxes there. Oof. Okay. It's going to hurt us, but we need the money. We need the money. Sorry, guys. This is all in, in, in good... This is all good things. Uh, trust me. Uh, we're going to start fishing there. Um, and bring in some fish. Hopefully start selling fish. Start selling fish some fish as well. Um, will that bring us some money? Market stall built. Uh, assign resource. Fish. Absolutely. Someone come and work there. Right. We'll sell fish there. Uh, that'll help with food. Because food's at minus 11% at the moment. Uh, tax is only minus 8. Um, right. Uh, what would you like? Oh, wood for the bishop. The bishop is looking to build a few chapels. One of those merchants knows your woodcutter camps and wants to make an offer. Uh, okay. Selling wood to the bishops. Here. Now, you see, the problem here is, bishops, is, is that, uh, maybe next time, yeah. I can't right now. I'm on a big mission to please you. Um, so, yeah, um, you know, not right now, is what I'm saying. Uh, and I don't really have money, either. Um, my villagers are still trying to build themselves houses. Uh, comfort is minus six. Food, minus ten. Crikey, Moses. Um, will you guys, uh, will you guys, uh, why are we producing resources? Working time, working fine. Okay, these guys need to come live much closer to here. Uh, you need a fisherman. Absolutely need a fisherman. Uh, yeah. Uh, maybe we should get another two, uh, two people working out. One, uh, two people working there. There you go. And do you have two people working on there? You do. Um, this warehouse here has two people. Good. Um, I really want fish coming in. Oh, we're going to need another one of these around here, aren't we? So that we can... Okay, good. We've got fish in. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Uh, another market stall. Oh, wait, we just do this one here, don't we? Uh, building uh, market stalls port. Um, and let's build one like, like that, build, that'll be for fish, that'll be for fish, we've got to sell the fish, um, got to keep the money coming in here, everyone needs to be happy, food comfort is dro- oh good, food is dropping, so taxes are just minus 15% now, uh, minus a lot of happiness because of tax. But that's, uh, that's the way the world normally goes, isn't it? So I don't know why they're complaining. Uh, what are we missing over here? 44 planks. Okay, so all about those planks. That means that very soon uh, we can turn this one on again. There you go. Start making us planks again. Start making us planks again. Thank you very much. Uh, so we can finish that. 
Uh, what are we? What are we? Are we bringing in here? So we've got all the tools um, and the planks. It's just the polished stone. Um, so that's common path. This um, we require twenty. Um, we oh we don't have enough money. Oh my goodness gracious me. Okay, so we need that polished stone. Right. So I think that really it's all about money right now. Uh, I'm gonna welcome more people in. Um, purely because I think what it does is it, is it helps us with our tax rates. So if we go to our tax here. Uh, yeah, so we're taxing 42 serfs um, at 210 per month. Um, so last month, 115 income quests, not tax is 39. Uh, okay, so this should 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 help us, particularly if we don't spend any money for a bit. Uh, while we trade sold planks. Okay, so at the moment we're only really selling planks. Um, berries, we could sell fish as well, I guess. Um, alright, so really and truly, we are now up in, up, or getting up to the point of up and running. Um, I'm very happy the happiness has increased there. The food and, once we get food and comfort zeroed out, it'll just be that minus 15% on, on the taxes, which I think they can deal with. Um, I think they can swallow that pill for now. Um, as we build up the town, but I think that is where everyone we're gonna end this episode uh, As always, I, I really appreciate it if you enjoyed this I'd love to hear from you in the comments below Otherwise smack that like button and this is your last opportunity to try and name this town because we're gonna give it a name uh, Next episode it's the first thing we're gonna do So come up with some good ones. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you all in the next episode. Until then, look after yourselves. I am the Bird. Signing out.